right here with us in the studio and we already told you who it is so if you've been following you already know who it's going to be in the studio yeah. hello hello see how you beauty mm-hmm. no one can lie me that you're single the way you tickle tickle you make me fall for your birdie hey, yo it's your boy check the magic the virgin magic well it's ability mm. i'm glad to be here with these two fine radio <laughs> uh I say Queens, though. Mm-hmm. It's good to have you. It's here. good to have you in the studio as well. First yeah. of all, when did this remix come out? This song, this is not the original song. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This remix. Yeah, so. yeah. The remix, the remix came out last year. Mm. Yeah, I did it uh, with Team Manager. Team Manager. Yeah. So called the remix. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, like uh, uh, Team Manager is a very talented artist, and uh, when he approached me, uh, he realized uh, it is very much. Uh, uh, important mm. to work with the, my own artist from my hometown from the country instead of you know like going out and spend a lot of money already the song was already a big song so i felt mm. like let me give him this because he's showing a lot of energy you know he's showing a lot of promise and he's showing a lot of passion mm. and uh he wanted it so we'd have done another song but of course he wanted it so we were so questioning cool. and so yeah like, why, so why? there were a lot of comments about uh, this remix yeah so people some people are like oh oh I think I love the original and so yeah. people are like, oh, this remix is no, but I mean, there were a lot of uh, comments from people. What did mm. you think? Well, actually, there were so many comments in the start because, you know, this is a song that has been loved by the country for mm. some good years. Mm. And people were like, why did I do it with, uh, you know, team manager, not uh, an artist from abroad or anything. But I say it, uh, we want to give it a South Sudanese feel. And when you listen to the vocals of team manager, these are more like, you know, like it's from a different dimension of, of the, of like the, 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 the like the, 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 the slang. Mm. Like the way he, he he expresses his way is a bit different. Mm. Uh, of course, from the beginning, the, 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 there were a little bit of negative jibes, you know. But mm. uh, after some time, when they left the groove, because this song actually has a better groove than the, the original. Yeah. Yeah. The original yeah. just has uh, the vocals and yeah, stuff. Yeah. But this one has the groove. So mm. uh, I, I didn't take it badly. But of course, I told them, you take time. You know, music is like that sometimes. The song you've listened to so many times, you may be, you know, in, in, in synced with it with your, mm. in your mind. Mm. But this is a new, fresh style. It has a, a groove and you can see how how alive it has been ever since I got here when you played it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, uh, you also worked with Emmanuel Jal. Yeah, yeah. On hey a song Mama. called Hey Mama. Yeah. Mm. I, I actually love hey the song. Mama. Yesterday someone requested for it. I'm cool. like, yeah, it's I been a minute. Hey yeah. Mama. Well, this song, uh, Emmanuel looked for me when I was in Kampala. Mm. Uh, he, he used Nyarwach. I think he has a sister called Nyarwach. Mm. So Nyarwach, uh, she was in Nairobi and then she was lo- looking for me. They thought I was in Nairobi but I was in Kampala. So like... Uh, when Nyarod called me, I told her, I'm not in Nairobi, I'm in Kampala. Mm. But if Emmanuel uh, is looking for me, just give him my email and uh, my contacts, let him tap me up. So when Emmanuel texted me and told me, you know what, 
I love your sound and and the, the most important thing about the sound is the Arab Yuba vibe mm. and then I told him okay it's okay with me and uh, it's someone I've looked to work with but of course when this thing came I felt like you know it was one of a calling yeah, yeah. Uh, and then when he texted me and he sent me the, the, the song because the song was done by uh, Joshua Bukindu a producer in Kenya in Nairobi he's a Kenyan producer mm -hmm. uh, so Bo Joshua Bukindu sent the the, 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 the other version of the, of the song and I had to drop my first from here and I did it with uh, uh, the Southland producers from here, like Nasty J, mm. he recorded for me the vocals and stuff. So we sent the vocals back to Nairobi and that. But the main uh, aim of this song was to redefine the narrative uh, of, of, of our country outside there because people outside there think of South Sudan as an uh, insecure nation, mm. a nation with so much uh, going on and stuff. Mm. So I, I team up with Emmanuel to change the narrative and also. We are, we are advocating for a brand new South Sudan where I'm about to get you know, you know, mm -hmm. and when you hear my part, like, welcome to my country, hey, hey, you know, but Sudan, no hatred, mm. hey, hey, to rap, you know, via Umatai, Bele de ya umi, Wole gebila masadu, Wole rotan mabasadu, Ashen kula na sour, Mavisha kela mohaba ya udawa. Basically, like, you know, we want the South Sudan, the new South Sudan. Okay, like, this is our country, but we want a fresh nation where you don't have to be asked about your language, you don't have to be asked about your tribe. You move free, you understand? Like we said, from Tori to Kopueta, from Kopueta to Rumbek, mm -hmm. a free nation, you know, a mm. peaceful country with nothing much. But that is our aim of the song, and I'm glad that we worked with uh, Emmanuel, who is a very, very passionate uh, artist and patriotic as well. Yeah, and, and the video Emmanuel speaks also, nice also for that song. Yeah, the, so the video is amazing. Yeah, the video is... Uh, where did you shoot by, your part? The video, we shot the part in... Uh, in Nigeria. Nairobi? Yeah, some parts were shot in Nairobi in mm. uh uh, at, uh, in in northern uh, northern Kenya mm. with uh, Enos Lolik, one of the like prominent producers, mm. and then we shot some shots in the River Nile with Emmanuel Jal and Rock City. We shot mm. some well, some some parts. That's in Rock City. really yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. The I mean, that's has amazing. A lot of yeah, yeah, big time. But the song is it's all like having like. Uh, I think 18 to 20 remixes from different DJs all over yeah, the world. Yeah, different DJs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I actually, there's a uh, there's a time I was listening to the remix, which yeah. was like, uh, is it called a temple or a yeah, yeah, town yeah, type yeah, of music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This like same sound, house, but yeah. like it was done into yeah. like a, a house type yeah, of music. Type oh, of I was yeah. like, okay, yeah. this is yeah. really nice. Mostly like yeah. most of the remixes from South Africa, from Kenya, from Brazil, mm. and even the people that sponsored the videos, they're called Twin for Peace. It's a company from uh, South Sudanese owned brand mm. from Brazil. One of our own in Brazil owning this brand, and it was like. You know, I want to sponsor this because it's twin for peace. You know, it means yeah. like it's a very it's, huge message. It's for peace. Yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, that's amazing. You have been doing great, even though a lot of people feel like, oh, you are low key. <laughs> but you have been, uh, you know, collaborating, doing projects yeah, here yeah, and there. Yeah, yeah you've yeah. been doing amazing as well. That's the idea. You know, like uh, first of all, some things happen in life, and at some point, uh, talent is it's 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 lifetime. Unless maybe you most you, definitely yeah, yeah. So it doesn't uh, matter how long you're going like to people, people off, used, yeah. People are used with the hits, like you know, in the way I do my music, the hit, mm. the soko, uh, the samul and stuff. But I realized I had to share my sound because now I wanted to export my sound as well outside out there. Mm. And this song, this Hey Mama, is one of the songs that has exposed Check B out uh you know into mm. to, to the more audiences because i did soccer yes which was in africa and the mm -hmm. region uh, but of course this one now was beyond africa now you know i've, I've got music playing in bbc uh, bbc one extra this song mm. meaning like you know you've made it you yeah, know yeah. it's a milestone yeah, for yeah. it's a milestone yeah. for your yeah. career yeah. as yeah. well yeah and also i did with amani uh another song called give me love amani she's a yeah South i love Sudanese that Canadian. song mm. she's a South Sudanese canadian based she hosted her yeah I Amani was yeah. 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 yeah when she the first time she came we did the song give me love okay and, yeah mm. the song is a, it's a nice live vibe and a zook and stuff so i thought oh, okay we wanted to introduce her to the south sudanese style of sound yeah. because when i listen to her music sometimes, it's a bit yeah a bit, yeah a bit canadian and, 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 <laughs> and oh yeah mm -hmm. and stuff so when we did that remix uh, unfortunately we didn't do the video because she's traveling a lot and mm. i was in kampala but it's a nice vibe. So I've been working on, on extending the sound, incorporating different sounds. Mm -hmm. But I've also been working on a new style of, you know, coming up with a different style. And you, when you listen to the new music that I've been doing, like Yeah Yeah, it has a Lotuko, it has the Arabic, it has uh, the English. Mm. So I'm creating a new style of music where it incorporates. And the sound is just so classic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the it's sound it's is modern. really modern. It's, yeah. it's modern. Mm. Why are you doing that? Why are you incorporating different type of... Uh, well, uh, do basically, what? like, you know, from for the past years, people have been saying our music sounds like the Ugandan music. I don't want to lie. This is the fact I could say. Mm. Like many people out there think like the South Sudanese music, it's trying to sound like the Ugandan music because we are more like, uh, we're, we're using the foreign language, which is English more. Okay, we can use the Arabic, but still the beats that we make sound like the Ugandan beats, you know? Mm -hmm. So that means I say, like I was like, you know, it's time we have to use our traditional instruments, you know, get pick one or two and then incorporate it or fuse it with the, 
to the urban instruments and then you'll be able to bring a sound you know mm. and uh, also like using those slips now we've been singing to so many songs from nigeria and we don't even know what they mean and and you know like like how we've been you know, right, just sing yeah, songs yeah. we don't even know what it means we don't yeah. even know it but it's music music is universal you yeah know? like even in the hey mama song you can see Jal using his mother tongue a lot yeah. more than i did i didn't even use my mother tongue in that but of course you see where he is right now his music is received globally because mm. it's unique it's one of a kind people want to experience a new sound mm. and this is a message i'll send to the artist if you want to extend you gotta want your music to go out of juba mm. you have to be able to be creative you know don't don't, don't do the common the common you know sound that has been on. yes i understand laying off some time because we have a lot happening in our lives yeah. and i know there's something that you're good at apart from music i mean it's also good for people to <laughs> you never know what opportunity awaits Mm, yeah, yeah yeah so so many things like uh, i've been running my initiative that's got me off music a bit it's called able disable mm. it is an organization uh, empowering or in uh, like basically championing for inclusion and rights of people with disabilities and i looked at myself uh, as, as 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 a key voice for this for, for that because mm. i feel like you know i've overcome a lot mm. and i'm living successfully yeah. you know i want people who are there especially young ones and kids so to to know that they can live successfully with an impairment mm. it doesn't matter what kind of impairment and uh apart from that i'm a, f- a family man as well so mm. uh, you know i have to i have to t- tussle between family and also i went back to my school by the way i'm a technologist i do information communication technology mm. uh, measuring in network and data administration mm. so the full years i've been around i've not been around i've been pursuing my bachelor's and I'm finishing this year oh uh, that's great yeah, yeah, so yeah. people will be asking a lot of questions check you and that and that yeah. and that but i've been doing some few things but of course the music is there on you know as mm. i as i say lay music uh, it never runs away and i came with a new song today because uh it, there's been a lot of you know yeah, <laughs> now yeah. before we play your new song <laughs> yeah. and uh the song that is talking about the organization i mm. want us to talk about your song abu kering yeah yeah salana bukering iya hibana umabasuma galiana bukering this song is uh i i made this song to show uh equity in marriage or equity uh uh, in uh, socialism for people with disabilities. For example, Al Nasmu Azurin Ma Biligo Fursa as an Biligo Terigas and Bijus. For example, just be frank with you, <laughs> some cultural norms uh, prohibit people from dis- for the disabilities to be married. For example, uh, you find, for example, if the lady is blind, uh, and the family or the paternal, the family of the person that loves this lady probably would not, you know, would not uh, agree to that mm. or probably console them as well in our communities not only my own but i'm sure so many communities in mm. south at the moment today they are still so exclusive they're so discriminative towards people with impairment so i made this song to show that it doesn't matter your impairment it doesn't matter your ability you have a right to marry you have a right to make a life you have a right to make a family and zol mazur endu endu haka sana mo losra and haka sana as an kunen do water as an abin or as an shakal as an abin as an welad yal so uh, the message is basically equity in marriage for people with disabilities especially not only marriage but relationships you understand know, mm, and mm. They, when you listen to that song it shows that i'm loved and the person that has loved me loved me for who i am exactly and mm. for who i will be mm-hmm. and no more yeah yeah i think for a lot of people though they will wonder why you're doing that i think a lot of people don't know that um you have any type yeah, of yeah. Uh, they don't know that mm. so they may wonder why you have an initiative that talks about people like that and well, you're not a member i uh, know i am because i'm impaired you know it's just because mm. I'm, I'm a bit uh extraordinary mm. uh, you know like i'm able to to do things like i'm not impaired you know mm. but of course uh during childhood it was a bit hard uh when i was studying but as I grew up, I learned how to be self-reliant, how be in to, to be independent. Mm. Um, but I, w- I, I, sh- I don't shy from it because even people talk about it. Some people talk about it. They actually like throw jibes on me, mm. throw insults on me yeah, based on yeah. how, what they see of me. Mm. But it's not, it's not new to me. It doesn't hurt me because it is something that I've, gone, I've grown up with. Mm. You I, already know. I've, so I've, I've need, overcome a yeah. lot, trust me. So many barriers. Mm. And uh, by standing firm, I want people out there who are scared to come out of the closet to accept that they are impaired or they have this or probably parents that have children with impairments to accept the fact that this has happened because my story is a very painful story. Today I'm Chegbi but I've uh, I've come from a lot lot back. Mm. I think maybe Donna can attest to some. Yeah, I can't tell actually. Yeah, but <laughs> Why does one I know? <laughs> no, I mean the, like a long. We are from the same state, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I didn't. Does it mean because you're from the same state, you know everybody there? No, I mean, There's some I mean, kind of. A, okay, to be honest, we are kind of related. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And That's she, very interesting. She, we knew each other when we were still young, so Donna mm. knows a, a bit of my a part of my yeah. story, a, yes. like a part of it, mm-hmm. and that's why I came up with the initiative mm. because I felt like even from childhood it mm. has been inborn to have this energy 
to have this uh, you know bravery mm. you know to, uh, to 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 approach any kind of stigma or where is barrier and i made this music apart from abu Karen, i made that i am able i'm able is a it's a song that speaks about my ability you know mm. in the society that we live in we should not look at the inabilities or the impairments of anyone or the disability of a person mm. let's look at the ability of the person what this person can contribute because yeah. i'm sure everybody has a uh, has a role to play mm. everybody can contribute it doesn't matter who the person is despite the status despite of your situations or even your social class mm. you can contribute to the society yeah, i can attest because you're really one strong person that um you've come through a lot and uh, look at you you're doing just well and you're amazing i honestly admire your resilience yeah yeah i'm grateful um, okay i have two questions one is how can a person with disability become uh strong how can you encourage yourself because uh i, I think people who live with disability sometimes because of the insults and everything you have yeah. it becomes very hard to develop a personality of your own you start to think you are who what people say you yeah, are like yeah. they think you cannot do anything so you think okay you cannot do anything so so i'll tell you uh kefa zolul mu'awak uh back there shaja gisim to abu kundu shaksi ago yashan ma back there yani can ask gisiti mo like can ask guy no like look looking down on the person basically how can they have that how can they do that like what i say in the mata ish be fadiya san haya o hadiya the first thing you should understand is being li- alive is mm-hmm. the biggest gift you'll have in your life mm-hmm. you know so i want to tell everyone out there that if you are alive it allow it allow alive it tender khaya mus they had dear allah allah would it doesn't matter what happened to you mm-hmm. because there are some people al jatala mazurin li gomun kan lisa tamam you know they got impairment when they were born yeah, you are not born with it yeah mm-hmm. some are born with it some are not born with it mm-hmm. like mine I wasn't born with it yeah. mm-hmm. so first of all is self acceptance accept the fact that but this starts from the family you yeah. know most especially it starts from the people that love you or the people that are close to you mm-hmm. for example if i was for example if all my parents had rejected me because of what happened to me and left me or abandoned me at some point i will be struggling and i will never have that uh, you know that will you know to overcome but my mother she really played a role for me you know my father mm. left me when i was young maybe because he thought uh, i was impaired and i'm never going to be something you know those things happen by the not only mm-hmm. to me but so many families mm. but the fact remains that you who gave birth to this child if you have a child with an impairment accept the fact that this child is impaired mm-hmm. and this child is still your child and this child is a child that has been given to you as a gift and this child has a purpose in this life mm. you know if you're a person al mawq mata ain nafs successful nus min insan ma fi kalam dunya you're a full human kulu kulu the ajal al mafalak al mafalata de ma bi zawi ajal itendak you see that is one one advice i want to give people because for me when i look at myself and i see what i do and then it gives me motivation and say you know what i'm going to prove people wrong because they are not the ones that created me or the mm-hmm. ones they are not the ones that gave life to me mm. i have a purpose and endu muhima fi dunya كل زول عنده مزور زول عنده زول مو زول عنده المزور خلي يعرف قال لي عنده شنو مهمه في الدنيا اي دازنت مارا ايت ليس انسان ايفن اف يو دونت هاف اني ثينج ذات از ماي مسج اند اي اي ام 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 بيج اون تراين تو ادفوكيت فور بيبول هو ديسابلد تو جو تو سكولز بيكوز اي ثينك اتس فيري كومن وي سي بيبول ويز ديسابيلتيز دونت ريلي جيت ا تشانس تو ادكيشن لايك اف سمون هاز ا تشايلد هوز نورمال اند ا تشايلد هوز ديسابلد دونت بريفير تو تيك ذا تشايلد ذات از نورمال تو سكول اند ذا ديسابلد اند ويل بي لايك نو يو سيرف اون يور اون سو هاو كان يو انكارج ليت سي بيرنتس اور ذا سوسايتي اور اني بودي to also give a chance to people with disabilities to go to schools and study yeah for example there is a program I'm re- i've initiated recently it's called uh, living successfully with disability in south sudan it is yet to come out we're trying to put it on tv because we want the society to see the, like the benefits of entrusting your child with an mm-hmm. impairment to go to school but basically we also want to teach the society about inclusive education an education system that will not make these children with disabilities to be put aside from the other ones you know what I'm saying uh, uh, for me when i was young I studied in Ecotos as uh, back then. Mm. And when I used to go to school I used to put my pocket my hands in the pocket. You know why? Because I was scared, you know mm. But when I'm when I'm writing in the class and I'm writing some students they come and to see what I'm writing. And then in that point I realized I was meant to be there. You know what I'm the school itself realized that we must make sure that this student is not given uh, a special treatment because when you give a child a special treatment a child in, with an impairment a special treatment different from the rest it's going to make him feel that he's different from the rest yeah. you know yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if true. the teacher is dictating 
even the person with impairment should also be part of the, the dictation the, yes the dictation and write whatever is happening mm. that is an inclusive education i worked with a girl girl education South Sudan. It's called a guest mm. uh, program mm. and i was mentoring their mentoring assistants all over the state and i was speaking to them about my story how i was able to you know to overcome the barrier and stigma basically in schools because there's so much stigmatization and bullying in schools mm. see sometimes it also frustrates parents and then parents start pulling their children out of school yeah because you know, they're so, going through yeah because the condition. children are going through and even for mm. example they will like the parents will say why are you playing with the other child mm. oh, mazur, okay, okay, okay. so basically inclusive education it is something that starts from within and then we accept it and then we ensure that all our schools are uh, inclusive enough mm. uh, let alone that but also the teachers in the schools because there's so many programs organizations i know they're doing their best to make mm -hmm. sure that they teach students i mean teachers on how to handle children with impairments but i suggest we should limit opening schools for special uh, for, for, for children with special needs alone but we open schools that are inclusive we'll general. That, yeah, yeah. That are general if there are different types of assertive technologies that we can put in place to support them so that they can be able to learn equivocally or equitably with these children mm -hmm. that would be a positive thing yes that's a good one right there yeah. we are only left with about uh, 20 uh, Two minutes to the top of the end with us in the studio is uh, Check Be Magic. We have talked a lot and as well we have a lot of organizations, international, local in South Sudan. We should be having people like Check Be as ambassadors to advocate for the right of people with disability because honestly, if you're able to accept who you are and mm. you're doing well, other people, you are like an inspiration. Mm. You know? And I'm happy that uh, we have you here today and as well our uh, uh, people like Dahlia. Dahlia is also visually impaired mm. yeah. and I'm sure that she's actually happy because she's always following soundtrack show yeah i mean yeah. dahlia one thing i like about was to say, you know you just live your life i know her. i just I know yeah, yeah she's just yeah. always calling being part of the show and that yeah. gives so much encouragement to the rest exactly. let's talk about uh, your vision for 2024 how do you see your 2024 going for you career-wise musically is there anything that we should be looking for yeah to? this is my year mm. first of all i'm graduating this year so that's the biggest thing in my in my, in my this, this Yay. year okay Yay. and uh i'm also back to music now seriously mm. you know like full time i've been off and on but i'm back because mm. i have a lot of pressure from my fans people love the music that i make but of course i say this year is going to be uh the year of transformation for me especially with my initiative that i'm trying to do because i'm coming up with programs that will shake the country that will shape the narrative of people of, of the society toward people with disabilities especially the social or traditional norms that have been put in place mm -hmm. we want to break these barriers through music and through creative arts yes. especially yeah so this is a very big year for me and uh i look at this as a very very bright year and vision of a year where inclusivity is going to be at a higher percentage in south sudan especially mm. the uncrpd and also like i had that there's election coming so we want to encourage civic participation of people with disabilities mm -hmm. in this process because yeah. i know people with disabilities are not looked at as people who can vote but these are people that deserve to be vote you know to that deserve to be given a chance to vote okay mm. yeah, it's important. all right some of the comments on our facebook live right here and uh this is uh, from a dao sees like a fuki with donna plus our decent artist check b good afternoon the remix is very nice keep it up my boy check b call me uh that is uh uh dao c and uh kitlin is saying yo shout outs to all of you in the studio check b magic you've been lost industry for a long time we miss you so much and nice to hear from you back you again too. sam c roy saying wow my guy check b uh let love lead bro and uh, a lot of your good comments here and um let's see what is this one saying uh this is actually dahlia dahlia saying hello well it's a belly day long time i have a question what achievements in the industry and what are your strategy for this year amito dahlia the one we're just talking about <laughs> yeah yeah that's uh maybe you react to it in a bit and okay. joseph gum is saying try to remove uh glasses the guest in the studio you <laughs> <laughs> Malish, um, <laughs> glasses off. <laughs> okay and uh ac chol is time to support our musicians in south sudan similar in nigeria support Putting themselves abroad, let, uh, let's learn from them at least. Okay. Mm. And uh, more comments right here. And as we move on, let's talk about um, the, song. The, the song that we are premiering today. Uh, yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, th uh, this song, this is, uh, we all know this is a love month, a mm. romantic month. Mm -hmm. So I decided to bring a love song. Mm. This is a very, very, it's a promise. This song is called Joe mm. uh, It talks about, you know, uh, like when you see a woman, Mm. And you, this is the woman you've chosen. Mm -hmm. That should be the woman. There is no other woman. Joswana. Okay, yeah. that's Joswana. <laughs> that's yeah. what it's called. It's mm. called Joswana. Like, it's like, Anna. Anna Tarinti is the Marata Ileni Haya. Minana Shuftak, Anna Shuftu Kifaya. Jamala Taki, Pi Ainu Fimiraya. 
Ana shukur Allah Aje binti li ana Baby Hibu wana Sweetie Yozu wana I think we play the song Okay, because, like, let's go Let's go like, right into back. the song Alright Check me my And my pro The month of love it up is a row and a mabby see beta. Love it up with a quest and a mabby nesita. <laughs> that is the song right there. It's called Josu Wana and it's uh, being premiered right here by Check B. The Magic goes with us in the studio. And this is, he's releasing this song because Valentine is Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a love vibe. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's a, for the season. Yeah. For the Valentine season. I love this one. But this is Feb. Yes. One, like, give it a Feb for the Feb. Okay. That's awesome. I think we can also give a few listeners a chance to react yeah, yeah. to the song. Yeah. All right, the, um, uh, the number is 0922-986-986-091-986-986. And you can join us in the studio. Speak to Check B, the magic, directly. So, yes, go ahead, dial in and be part of the show. Uh, first of all, I'm I radio. I radio. I radio, hello. Oh, so sorry about that. Like in the room, who are next to it? It's called Madaf. But then, who are check be the magic? And remember, we're also live on our Facebook page, and that means we're sharing a lot with you right there. Someone is saying, <laughs> "Dear Kafuki, tell check be we are waiting to listen to Tungali song." <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, we are waiting to listen to Tungali song featuring Black D. I greet all the IRD listeners and please wait for the Tungali song. Mm. I think he's waiting for that Tungali song. And a comment check be that you made. Um, actually. A post that you made on um, uh, your your actually your your page on uh, Facebook talking about uh, you know how some artists are stuck. 
<laughs> in the HLM crew. <laughs> what can you say about that? <laughs> well, uh, I think uh, it was more like an advice. People mm -hmm. took it like a jibe. Okay. But it was an advice. You know, a cobweb, we all know what a cobweb is. Mm. And, uh, like a cobweb is basically when you're in a cobweb, it becomes hard for you to get out of the cobweb. Mm. But uh, I didn't mean like people should not get into the, into, into that, uh, into the crew. Mm -hmm. What I meant is the people that are in, uh, because I know a few, yeah. uh, and they, who have potential, but of course they are not reaching their potential because of the shortcomings that are mm. happening. Mm. I don't want to speak about that a lot because that's where I came from. Yeah, and yeah. I, like people are saying, oh, but I respect that. I, I, I accept the fact that uh, I was part of the HLME. Mm. And uh, uh, I can't say like it propelled me in one way or the other of course because i don't want to speak uh, details about it because the time we don't have time you yeah, know yeah. Uh, but i want people to i want young artists to open their eyes you know don't be lured to a level that's not gonna you know that's gonna shoot your your career up mm, okay. i'm not saying that hlme cannot shoot your career up, but <laughs> <laughs> what i mean like basically like you know when the owner of the level or the director of the level or the leader in the level focuses more on himself than focus on on the, on, on, on the artist in the level it definitely becomes a bit uh tasso mm. Mm. Uh, because like uh, in uh, in a year or two you, you couldn't hear so many artists from HLME like making it huge you know other than Mr. X so mm. <laughs> okay I think I we'll mean, you've gotten your point yeah, yeah we'll leave it at that it's yeah. just a piece yeah. of advice yeah, yeah. Mm. so let's leave it at that before we stare <laughs> up another conversation <laughs> <laughs> yes alright let's give another call a chance iRadio iRadio Oh, so sorry about that. But the number still remains the same. You can go ahead and speak to Check Be The Magic. Let us know what you think about his latest song with the title Joe Zoana. So if you're listening right now and you would like to join us in the studio, I radio. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello, I radio. Yes, Marhabek. Yes. Hello, I radio. Okay. Yes, question. Alhamdulillah. Kefa kita. Oh, Maku. Tama magic. Ma batale akoi. Kebe. Well, I same as I said it today with the the best in the game. Hey, salam salam lek. Thank you. Thank you bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. God bless you big bro. Bless you too. Bless you. Keep it up. Yeah, keep up. Keep it up. All right. Thank you. I read you. I read you. I really hello. Oh, so sorry about that. But yes, uh, you can still dial in and check, catch up with uh, Check Be the Magic because we're sitting here in the studio. I don't know the first level, but that we carry on. Yeah. I radio. Hello. Yes, hello. I radio. Yes, Marhabek. Hmm. Yes. Hello. Marhab, Marhab, Doctor. I tell you this, I'm so to our best friends that we are so damn lucky. Our friends, 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 our Yes, we are not getting you. Mm. So, so sorry about that. But I think we got your point. Uh, he was saying, uh, talking about what he was talking. Who was the one who I think you write your own music. Basically, I do the writing. I actually do the executive production at some point. I don't touch the piano, but I let the producer do what I want him to do. Yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. so you co produce. Yes, co produce. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we are also running out of time. Maybe we listen to uh, uh, There is a Disability, it's not Inability. Yeah. I am able. Yeah, I am, I am able. able. Yeah. Yes, that's the song. Okay, let's go to listen to the song when we're back. We shall carry on. Stay tuned, do not touch your dial. <laughs>
you'll be chasing I'm amazing Oh, 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 Gali ana mazur nyaka mumi na watan Gali ana mazur munu gali zola mazur mabaga shoko the message is are clear out there and uh, we are also as well are running out of time if you still have uh, one or two questions or not maybe. no no um yeah. we would say thank you so much thank you the you, magic for you, being you. here thank you so and maybe much, we can yeah. give him this time to wrap yeah. up and let yeah. us know what yeah. he wants uh, the fans out there who are, who love your music to know about you well they just have to know that i'm uh, i'm just more than an artist mm. i'm an activist and uh, every music i make sometimes has a message that comes with it mm. so mm. basically like today i brought you Josuana mm. because i know there's so much that we go we all love we deserve to be loved mm. and uh, let's keep the love going let's keep the love flowing please come on you know love should be reciprocal yeah, two ways yeah, yeah, two two ways. Ways. Yeah, so basically that song is like reciprocal yeah mm. just be reciprocal so yeah. you give me love and i give you love you know yes. love is everything love Binds us, Mohabba Yabish and Nagidam. Receiving on one side, most. basically, Mohabba Marcos with the Java. Last time, Kunfi to Jatain. Shukran Shadid, I appreciate the listeners, and uh, I want to tell my people whatever you see on the media or you see on the media should be on the media. It's nothing bad, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, things happen. And uh, Shukran Shadid, I wish I could be here for long, but of course, this is how it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you for everyone that called, uh, my brother Rufus, and of course, Dahlia. Keep it up, you're able, never, never feel shy, continue pushing up. Kuluzul just pray to God everything will fare uh, I appreciate you guys thank you so much for today uh, thank you for Kafuki. coming thank you for I'm coming. leaving you with uh, today's new song called Josana mm -hmm. and uh, that is it thank you so much from Check Me to You I love you all kisses till next all time right. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Ciao.